Understanding Relative Clauses, an English Learning Journey. Hello there! Welcome to another exciting English language learning video. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating aspect of the English language. Relative Clauses. Yes, you heard it right, Relative Clauses. If you've been struggling with them, worry no more, because by the end of this video, you'll have a much clearer understanding. So, let's dive in. A relative clause is a kind of subordinate clause that contains the element in question, serving to modify a noun. Sounds a bit complicated, doesn't it? Well, let's simplify it. In simpler terms, a relative clause is a part of a sentence that gives us more information about a person or thing, the noun, we are talking about. For example, take this sentence. The dog that has a red collar is mine. The phrase, that has a red collar, is a relative clause because it's giving us more information about the dog. Relative clauses always come after the noun they are describing and often start with relative pronouns such as who, that, which, and so on. There are two primary types of relative clauses, defining and non-defining relative clauses. 1. Defining relative clauses. These are essential to the meaning of the sentence. They help to define the noun they are describing, and without them, the sentence wouldn't make much sense. For instance, in the sentence, people who smoke should quit, the defining relative clause is who smoke. Without this clause, we wouldn't know which people should quit. 2. Non-defining relative clauses. These simply provide extra information and the sentence would still make sense even if they were removed. For example, my sister, who lives in London, is visiting me next week. The clause, who lives in London, is just giving extra information about my sister. Without it, the sentence still stands as, my sister is visiting me next week. Now, it's time for some practice. How can we spot relative clauses in texts? Here are some tips. Look for the nouns in the sentence and see if there is more information given about them. If this information comes right after the noun and starts with a word like who, that, which, where, whose, it's a strong hint you're looking at a relative clause. Remember, defining relative clauses are essential to the meaning of the sentence. If you remove it and the sentence loses its intended meaning, it's a defining relative clause. Non-defining relative clauses, on the other hand, can be removed without changing the sentence's overall meaning. They are usually set apart by commas. And that wraps up our exploration of relative clauses. We've gone through what they are, the types, and how to spot them in texts. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and you'll become a pro at identifying relative clauses in no time. Thanks for joining in, and as always, happy learning!